car already. It's in order. We've got enough gas in the tank to take us to the Aurora, too. <laughs>
All right, didn't we? Yes, we did. The thing is, their army is in a massive raid now, and this is just the Baron sending his regards. How many of them are there? Seven hundred, I think. Whoa. Yeah, we locked out here, and we'd better not overstay our welcome. We won't get far burning twigs. Five clicks at best. The dogs have fuel. Lots of it. A full tanker carriage on the rails. If we open gate quietly, we can steal it. They shouldn't have many guards now. Can you guide our men? I can. Let's get to business then. Yermak, Crest, you prepare the Aurora. Finish filling the boiler with water and drain the car's tanks. Artyom, Damir, you get the most important part. Stealing that tank. Yes, sir. Good luck, gentlemen. Anna, idiot, Tokarev, we're breaking camp, people. Maybe we could still negotiate with them. <laughs> I need to build some medkits first. Dude, where the hell are you? They also fight. <laughs> Hi, Artyom! Well, it's all gonna be okay now. We can't lose now that we have water. You guys did great! Okay, we are ready now. 
the mission. We'll be praying for you. Thank you, Wardo. Oh, come on. It's our team we're talking about. He's made of steel. Just place him in the wall. <laughs> Artyom, the car's near the Aurora. Yermak, you shoot the back to the horse. Adyam, we're fixing to leave already, but there's one thing that keeps nagging on me. Remember that dismantled ship I told you about? I can't stop thinking about the slaves they keep there. Do you think we could still free them? If not us, then who? <sighs> so tired of this dust. Can't wait to get out of here. Don't take dumb risks there. I need a live husband, not a dead hero. Roger that, ma'am. Let me see if I can go. Artyom, right? you and yeah. I will soon be leaving, so you can take some rest, do a checkup on your gear, and catch up with us. We'll rendezvous at their base. Sure thing. I think I'm in trouble now. Yes. We took a look around. The main gate is guarded by a skeleton crew. You cannot go through gate. Go through the prison cellar where the Munai Bailer keep the slaves. Uh, <laughs> yes. In any case, the plan is this. Gyul and I will try to take their guards down quietly and get in through the gate. If quiet does not work out, we will at least distract them while you get in through the underground. Okay, sir. Let's go. We'll, we'll walk with you. Yeah, sure. Come with me. Don't lag behind. 
I'm not lagging behind, but my computer is lagging behind. about the locals here this <coughs> place they're just kids and all have been under brainwashing for ages so we probably should take pity on them so a great well let's do this All right, I'll raise it and you get through. Come on, this Great. See you up there. Some food, make slave, more use that way. You said right, completely, very right. Thank Holy Flame, nothing.
Just what we need. Um, there is also bad news. The gate is locked and we can't take it out. Colonel, sir, Damir here. We have secured the tank, but encountered a, a problem with the gate. Copy that. We're going with plan B, then. Act accordingly. See, the cable connects the gate and the top of the tower. How do we get there, though? Oh, it looks like a veritable fortress. <laughs> Gentlemen, surely you're not seriously intending to attack our fortress. I do respect your courage, but simply throwing your lives away is such a waste. Who is in charge between you two? Come up here. We have things to discuss. Just you listen to that bastard talk. A complete about face. And we did throw a wretched into his plans big time. Point that gun down and come up. Otherwise we'll have a pointless bloodbath on our heads. Agree now. Just do it. You? Where did you go? I am up on the tower already. I have a plan. Hide that weapon now. Nobody would let you in with a gun at the ready. Open the gate and let our guests in. Come up! We won't even touch you. Unless you really ask for it. Mm, I don't like this, but there is no other way. If we don't get out of this desert, we were as good as dead. Good luck, Artyom. If the deal goes south, I'll... Well, I'll do what I can. What the fuck are you saying? Now, there's too many of them to come. Why are you about that bitch? Dangerous. Even some women. Go around and think of just get to the next floor. Uh, a penthouse. That's the word. The boss hates stench. Don't you fucking catch it from him. You must be one of the train gang. Just you take a fucking look at the beauty Vint is making for the boss. It's not just any old sort of wheel. Well, you just fucking pull it. Put your back into it. Why the fuck did we beat you yesterday? Hey, I'm sorry, master. I will say it was not on purpose. is for people! Ah! For the master! Do you get it? Ah! Hey! You! Get your ass over here! Yes, Ulu Mursa. Come on, up the ladder with you. You are the one who arrived. Come to meet the boss here. Oh, the both hit Fitch. Hello, guys. You're the one to see the boss? Come on in. Don't waste boss time here. Did you expect a different reception? <laughs> Answer your weapons. Here we come. 
can talk without the masks. I trust everyone present implicitly. You find it weird that I'm not really bothered by your little mischief. Well, you see, this world is a harsh and chaotic one. I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which there is no hope for something better in the future. But with no hope, you can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with a purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyor to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I have you. You will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now what? Yule herself has come for you! You'll answer for everything! Get ready. We must kill these dogs. This is for you, dirty worm. Arjun, what's going on? You, you are weak, and you die. Your
I'll catch him and open the door for you. Hold on. This is the plan Gul was talking about. What the hell is going on there? Get out of there! I'll send people to cover your retreat! The door's giving! Let's give it a shot, Artyom! Come on, Artyom! Yes, we did it. Boys and girls. My people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. You're back, my love. I was so worried.
Fanatics on the banks of Volga. Cannibals in the mountain bunker. Slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves, and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Kyul lead their people to freedom, beat another monster? The inertia of thought that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. long ago and it still persists <clears throat> what does crest even smoke <laughs> it's terrible in any case i'm better now i hate to interrupt guys but uh, you should come to the mess hall the table is almost served thanks stepan we'll be there in a moment shall we go artyom or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. But it was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kind of dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in, and from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much. But I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone. Took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over mom's dream. Then I imagined she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going, not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, but what are they? Higher rank? He could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro? Those thoughts don't come casually. 
murkier on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go, and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. Damir, another. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. I'll rest some more and join you later.